what is your knowledge of people that have been diagnosed mentally ill and are on medication and their energy and how it affects those around them? My sister's schizophrenic and around me a lot, and I worry how our energy will affect me. Okay, um, so that's one that's actually been coming up quite a bit here in the Lightworkers Lab. How does medication affect us? Does, med does medication affect our ability to perceive, to stay spiritually connected? I know that's not what you're asking. I'm going to get to it. Um, I just want to answer everybody, though, absolutely, medication is going to alter you. In the purest body that's never been touched by medication or compounds before, if it ingests or takes in a substance, it's going to be shifted and changed by that. Energy impacts energy. And so medication can alter us in ways that we don't really want as spiritual people. It can close us off. It can obstruct us, and sometimes it can open us up. And if it returns us to a state of wellness or health, well, then that's high in vibration. And even though we're on a, a medication, we're still healthier, and so we're maybe more able to access a higher consciousness or higher realities and so on and so forth. The main medications that affect our ability to perceive are SSRIs. Don't get crazy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, SSRIs modulate and help us legislate different energies, but they can have an impact on our ability to perceive, and they do directly impact our perception, our pineal gland, and the whole infrastructure happening within our headspace is affected. And of course, serotonin, that is uh, produced by, moderated by the pineal gland, which is the doorway of perception. So if you are doing something to adjust or mess with your serotonin, then that's going to have an effect on your perception. Now, I know that's not what you asked, Kalea. You're talking about a sister who's got schizophrenia and who's on medication, and that is a powerful signal, and it's affecting you. And medication can act as an amplifier for whatever the underlying condition is. And so even though the medication itself might be regulating, this disorder that she has, it can also be amplifying to some degree that disorder as well. And if you're a sensitive person, if you're an empath, if you're an intuitive, you will absolutely feel the impact of that. And because she's your sister, you have something called aka cords. I know you know what these are. Other people might not. Anytime we're in relationship with a person, place, or thing, and it's important to us in any way, meaningful in any way, we have actual energetic cords with them. And if it's a person and they have strong energy like your sister does, and it's chaotic, and it's negative, that's going to travel the aqua cords. And you're going to take the energetic hit or the energetic impact of that. So your primary uh, goal here is to take care of yourself, energetic hygiene, because this depletes you. It's like you take hits in your aura, right, or in your field, and then you got to patch it, you got to meditate, you got to fill in all the holes, and so it's constant like management of your stuff, your energy, because she's sending these these energetic impacts into, into your experience and into your awareness. Um, and I'm not giving intuitive readings, but um, this is definitely a situation where you've got to actually have like a wall, like you've got to have some distance, some way to protect yourself from that energy because it's quite strong, it's quite chaotic, and I feel attachments around it. Sorry, honey, and I see this actually a lot with schizophrenia. And I don't know if you've ever heard of somebody named Malachi Martin. You should check the archives for Art Bell. You should go up on YouTube, actually, and type in Art Bell and Malachi Martin. He was a priest. He did exorcisms. He's coming from a Catholic paradigm, which is a little bit fearful and freaked out. But he was also intuitive and smart. And Malachi Martin would go through psych wards and different uh, mental hospitals. And he said, almost without variation, there was oppression happening, there was attachment happening. And it makes sense though, doesn't it? Because where we have mental instability, there's going to be a correlating energetic pattern in the environment. We call these thought forms. There's going to be sort of an infrastructure around the person who's mentally unstable that is feeding off of that instability and causing more within the person and also within the environment. So there's a whole lot going on in this situation, and the message for you would be take care of yourself, take care of yourself, take care of yourself. I'm not saying she's possessed. I'm not saying she's oppressed. I'm saying we are um, turning out thought forms like it's our job a little bit, and so wherever she's living, 
Oh, my. Oh, jeez. You don't need to be there. And if you do, you should walk in like John Travolta, Boy in the Bubble, and that bubble should be filled with um, sage. <laughs> and you should be wearing holy water, rosaries, here, like all that jazz. Like it's a really big energy for you. So um, much love to you. That's a hard one for sure, for sure.